Hi, this is Will. Today we're talking about the whiteboard function of the Brightlink Pro. You're going to turn on your projector. The first thing you see is the welcome screen. The welcome screen is going to direct you to the help menu at the very bottom that's going to give you an outline of what all the icons are going to do. We're going to walk through them one at a time. As you can see, there are two basic toolbars. There's a side toolbar that gives you editing tools. It can be open and closed on both sides. And you have a bottom toolbar that gives you access to your various input sources and other material. So let's dive into our side toolbar. Here we have our basic pen functionality, colors, sizes, eraser. We're just going to choose red. Starting from the top, we have undo and redo. That's undo, redo. Here we have our templates. I'm going to insert a grid. We have zoom in, so I can actually zoom in, return back to normal. The other icons are basic shapes, insert an image, manipulate the image, and crop the image. I'll give you an example. I'm going to draw a couple squares. I'm going to insert my own image that I have in a saved thumb drive. If it were saved onto a network drive, I can also access, access it from here. Manipulate the image, I can move it around, shrink, and rotate. I can also crop the image and move it to where I need to go. Now let's take a look at the bottom toolbar. You're able to hide it and unhide it. It's organized in three sections, input, thumbnails, and output. So here you have the start new meeting, and it's just going to give you a blank slate to start with. We're going to click on open folder. If I had images or files I wanted to import into the presentation, I could do that also. If I had images on a scanner that I wanted to scan in, that also allows me to do that. So here we have the first page. I'm going to duplicate it. Erase page one, change that to page two. Add another page. Make that page three. Move it by pressing down and sliding it over. You can also delete the slide. On this side, you have the print, the save, email functions. And that's the whiteboard function. It's very easy to use. So if you have any questions, don't forget the help menu. And if you need more videos or more information, visit our website.